Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I'm kind of just showing you a bunch of random stuff that went down during my little hiatus. I have some photos to share with you and we will be organizing places around my house. So let's get to it. So one of the things that I had fun doing while I was kind of away was I made some carrot cake cupcakes for my friend's son's first birthday party. And I had a lot of extra batter left over, so I wound up making a double layer cake and practice piping on little carrots on the side. And I really like how this turned out. Obviously, I could have written like happy birthday or happy anniversary or some other message on top of this cake, but I just left it plain and stuck it in my freezer. And then I broke it out like a couple weeks later or whatever for a family get together. It was the perfect size, it defrosted perfectly. So I'm definitely keeping this in mind for the future if I ever have extra cake batter or whatever, just make a cake, freeze it, and use it whenever the time arises. So another cake that I made while I was kind of away was an Oreo cake. So I made like a chocolate cake with an Oreo vanilla buttercream, but I'm really happy with how this cake turned out. I thought it was really beautiful with the drip and then the top was fun. So it was just a really delicious cake, very rich and I could definitely see myself making this one again in the future. And then one of the last treats that I made was for my niece's confirmation. I made these little cake pucks. So there's a bunch of different silicone molds you can find online for like dipping Oreos or whatever. And so I just got some of those. I made some cake pop dough, and then I created these little like Oreo-sized little cylindrical things, <laughs> cylindrical pieces of uh, cake pop dough, froze them or got them like more firm. And then I put some, you know, melting chocolate in the silicone molds, dropped the little cake puck is what I'm going to call it. I dropped that in and then, you know, smoothed out the surface and then froze these guys until they were nice and firm. And then I did a little drizzle and sprinkled with sprinkles. And I really like how they turned out. They were really yummy and definitely like a, a cool treat, um, different from a cake pop. You don't have to have like a stick or anything like that. And they're just, I don't know, they're cute. I'll probably make some more in the future for another party or event. So now getting away from treats, but kind of sticking with the food theme. We went on our family vacation, we collected rocks, and my idea was like to start painting the rocks to look like food for Aubrey to play with outside so that we don't have like toys outside that are getting ruined, but they can still kind of play with, you know, the rocks or whatever. And so this was my attempt at painting some bananas. I am really happy with it. <laughs> I've never really thought of myself as like a painter. I've gone to those paint and sip things where you have an instructor and then I've created good paintings, I guess, following the instruction. But this is something that I just did kind of on my own and I'm really happy with it. I, I kind of think it does look like a bunch of bananas. So anyways, we did this. I did, I did this one. I painted with my mom and Aubrey painted some rocks too and I painted some other little fruits and stuff like that and eggs and whatnot. So Aubrey has those little rocks outside. Another thing that happened while we were away was Jack went swimming for the first time. This is me and him in the pool. I can't say he liked the cold water, but hopefully as it heats up, if we go swimming again, he will find it more enjoyable. I tried a new hairstyle on Aubrey. We went to Costco after her gymnastics class and she got compliments on it. So it made me feel good that I, you know, did a good job on this. I really think it's it's beautiful and if I could do it on myself when my hair grows out I definitely will and then while we were on our way to and from Aubrey's gymnastics her and I noticed lots of ladybugs on this one plant and you can kind of see like the ladybug shedding some skin here in this picture and then just like a bunch of other ladybugs on this next picture but it was really fun she loved seeing the ladybugs and it was interesting to see like a different stage in their lifespan all right so moving on now we're getting into some of the organ organization. I bought this like bamboo organizer stuff online. One of them kind of was broken or jammed, which was disappointing. But anyways, I was so eager to finally organize the drawer next to our stove. It just had like a bunch of, you know, different essentials, but 
it just really was, it felt really messy and I needed it to be more organized. So we're first cleaning out the drawer and setting up the organizers and then we will organize away. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I want to burn all the bridges between us. All right, so I don't know about you, but in my opinion, this looks and functions a whole lot better. And so since I had some left over, we will be moving on to my baking drawer to kind of keep everything in its place a little bit better as well.
While I was away, I also set up a balloon arch for my church. We were having like a celebration for one of the deacons there. And I kind of discovered a new way to do my balloon arch. I've always like assembled the little quads using my arch kit and then put them on the wire or the bending stick thing that makes the arch. And I realized it would be so much easier if I just put all of the rings on this bended wire. I don't I don't know what it's called, but you know, put all of the rings on there and then just add the balloons one at a time. And that did make it a little bit easier and I was in less need of extra people to help me assemble this. And I thought it turned out really pretty. One of the other things worth mentioning was with this little hack that I shared on our vacation video. I used a like toy organizer to organize all of the kids clothes and some of mine for our vacation, rolled it up, put it in a bag and then hung it on our door at the vacation house. And it was a lifesaver. It was so much easier than digging through a suitcase and definitely a hack I will do again in the future. I also harvested one of my onions from outside. Uh, it was kind of small, but it's a green onion. It wasn't like a sweet onion or a red onion. I, I believe green onions are in generally small. Anyways, I, I cut it up. I used some of these, the white onion rings for food, and then I froze the green onions in a little Ziploc bag, and they'll be ready to use whenever I need them. So for this little snapshot, I just thought it was funny because I decided to look at one of our cameras for our backyard at one point, and it showed a very old version of our backyard. And then when it updated, it's just been like, it was really cool to just see like where we once were and where we are now. And it isn't even like where we first started, but this was, you know, definitely a while ago. And it's fun to see the transformation in the grass and just in the yard in general. So this next picture was an interesting thing. Uh, Aubrey had this little sticker book of unicorns and she wanted us to be unicorns while we were at Starbucks. So I have a unicorn horn on my forehead along with eyelashes of a unicorn way up top. And, you know, I figured I would look silly for her out in public and let her have good memories. You know, who cares about what other people think about me? I think she had a lot of fun on this day. Little tribute to my old late chicken caramel. This poor chicken. She wasn't feeling good. I'd given her another bath. My mom took some pictures of me and my brother helping blow dry this chicken's butt. But like I said, this chicken has since passed and I'm glad that I have at least this documented of you know, me holding her and trying to take care of her to the best of my ability. All right, we're finding our way back to some more organization. I have been meaning to organize like our laundry room closets for a while. And I was gifted for my birthday in January, some organizational bins that I've just, they're just, they've been sitting in the laundry room waiting for me to organize. So we're finally getting around to that. I decided to use some of these clear organizers for like laundry items that I don't use as frequently. And then on top of this one, you'll see in a bit, I'll be putting some unstoppables, like the little scented beads, so that I can just easily scoop some out, pour it in, and then throw the cap back in the container. And then as you can see, I had a bunch of stuff to organize, different medicines, paints, irons, like stuff for the house. And so what I did was I just kind of made um, a list of just kind of the general categories of things. And based on the categories, I, you know, was able to find a home for everything. I still have to cut out some labels using my Cricut, but right now my Cricut is kind of, it still works, but it needs to be fixed in a certain way so that it runs better. So I'm going to, I've just been waiting on doing the labels. So that will definitely happen in a future video, but everything at least for now has found a place and it looks and feels more organized. Anyways, I'd like to thank you for watching this very random and compiled video of the random things I did while I was away. I have every intention of, you know, posting a video every Monday and Friday now moving forward. If there's ever a day where I kind of just need a break now, especially now that I'm pregnant and exhausted, 
Um, and actually recently my uncle passed away. So I was feeling, you know, pretty sad about that one day. So if there's like a day where I just need a break, what I might do is post a short video, um, one of like the vertical ones of Jack being silly. He's doing some cute stuff now. Um, he's very, very silly. So I might be just sharing a little glimpse of our day in that way. And that will lighten my load, but still provide you content. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss anything and hit that like button. It really helps out my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.